To begin, turn on your Disto by pressing the red button. Then, press the Bluetooth button. You'll see a Bluetooth icon flashing on the Disto screen. Now, on Measure Square, click the Disto button to connect to your Disto. Once connection has been established, you'll hear a long beep from the Disto, and you'll also see a pop-up window on Measure Square. As you can see, there is a blue arrow on the screen indicating that you may now choose your starting position. To do this, you must first press the second key on the Disto to enable software control. After doing that, you may now move the arrow on the screen left, right, up, and down. After selecting your position, press the Bluetooth button to secure it in place. The arrow will turn red, indicating that it is now in measuring mode. To adjust the direction that the arrow is facing, you may press the minus key any number of times to rotate it clockwise. You may also use the left, right, up, and down buttons to rotate the arrow. If the arrow is red, and you would like to move it to a different location, simply press the button marked with plus. This will change the arrow back to blue, and you'll be able to move it. If you have already made some measurements and drawn some walls, you may undo them by also pressing the plus button. To measure, Place the base of your disto against one wall. Press the red button to activate the laser. You should see a red laser dot on the opposite wall. Make sure that this dot is directly across from your disto. To measure this distance, press the red button again. Then, press the Bluetooth button like you'll see me do here. This will draw a wall in the program. If necessary, rotate the red arrow so that it is pointing in the same direction as the next wall. Again, you can do this by pressing the minus button on the disto. Using the same method, you can measure the other walls. At the last wall, you have two options to close the room. You can manually measure the last wall, or you can use the close shape button on the disto. Now, I'll demonstrate measuring more than one room with multiple doorways. I'll start by measuring a wall with a doorway in it. First, measure from one wall to the door frame. Then, measure from one door jam to the other. By pressing the lower right button of the disto once, you can change that measured portion to a door, push it twice into an opening, push it a third time so that it changes back into a wall. I am now going to measure a wall with a column in it. Notice that the inside part of the column that is facing inside the room may be difficult to measure because there is no other surface to reflect the laser off of. You may find it useful to attach a sticky note to one side of that wall so you can measure that distance. Now I'm going to measure a wall with two doors in it. And now I'm going to change that section I just measured 
into a door. And the same for the other one. You'll see that one part of the wall sticks out, but that length is very small, even smaller than the length of the disto. This requires that you change the measuring mode of the disto. First, press the second key. Then, press the button on the lower left. This changes the disto's measuring mode to measuring from the tip instead of measuring from the base. Now, let's just close the room, and a room is complete. Now, I'm going to measure the last two rooms. They're rectangles, so I'm just going to use the close shape button on the disto, so it's simpler. I'll be taking only two measurements of those two rooms, the length and the width. Now there is the first room. Now I'm going to move the arrow, press the Bluetooth button to enable measurement mode, and measure the length and width of the last room. Now that we're done measuring the last two rooms, let's disconnect from the disto by clicking on the disto button at the top left in the program. Now, you can manually click and drag the last two rooms into their appropriate positions.